Hey, this is Chris from My Solutions, and uh, I'm looking forward to showing you this kind of cool uh, piece that we put together in the iSolutions lab. Um, it's rich with FileMaker, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS integration. Uh, and this one's actually a two-device sort of multi-user solution, and I'm going to take you through a couple of the things uh, that it does here. So first of all, I've got an iPhone connected to the same database on the left-hand side, which we'll get to in a second. And then, of course, the iPad version. It's the same database, and we're just using some device detection uh, in this case. Um, so on the left-hand side is the uh, iPhone. And what I'm going to do is first show you something um, that we did here. You'll notice that there's this button here called uh, Station Map. And this is kind of a cool thing that really flexes the muscles of uh, FileMaker Go on a device. Um, so you'll notice. Uh, the idea here is that a user is in a fire truck and they open up their uh, iPad and the iPad has GPS technology on it. And so what we're able to do, you'll see this little icon here in the middle, which is a fire truck. And what we're doing there is we're detecting the lat and long, latitude and longitude uh, coordinates of the device and then plotting it on a map. And so we're using the Google uh, Map API here. But what we've also done is we've plotted all the other fire stations, uh, with, we've got some data in the database, and this can be synced and updated by admin users. But in this case, what the story is, is that a, a, uh, they're driving around in a fire truck, and they run out of, let's say, diesel fuel. You notice that there's some filters on here on the top. And they want to know where the closest uh, fire station is to their current location. And so we have latitude and longitude coordinates for every fire station, and then, of course, for the actual fire truck itself. So here the user would open up their, iP their iPad, just like you see here, and they could pick one of these filters. So I'm going to pick the uh, diesel filter up on the top of the screen here. And what it does now is it filters uh, the map in these clusters of uh, stations uh, that have diesel fuel available. And um, so you'll notice here in the middle, right, very close by to the um, fire truck, we see that there's a number 9. And you'll notice that when I click on that, or when the user clicks on it, what it does is it drills down and it plots all, it sh this is of course is the uh, GPS lat latitude and longitude coordinates of the iPad device itself, or in this case the truck, and we can pick a uh, very close location. So let's say we want to pick the one here uh, near Van Nuys Boulevard. All the user does is they click with their finger on the pinpoint. It takes them to a view that isolates the truck and just this location, shows them the phone information if need be, uh, over here in the address, but the best part about it is all they have to do in order to be able to figure out how to get to this location is simply hit with their finger the directions button. And what we're doing in this case is we're using a URL scheme um, that works with the, the um, uh, Apple Maps application. We can open up the Apple Maps ap application and pass it data in, in the form of variables uh, from within uh, FileMaker. So here all, all we're doing, it looks like we're in the same application but what this allows us to do is uh, make it appear as though we've got GPS uh, driving directions, and of course the audio could work here as well, uh, right inside the FileMaker application. Uh, whereas you can see, the user is actually in the Apple Maps. So they can just toggle back to exactly where they were, go to the back button, and, um, and here we'll go for the purposes of the demo, go all the way back to the home page. So that's a really cool uh, kind of demonstration of showing some JavaScript. All that's happening inside of a web viewer. It's JavaScript uh, using the Google Map API, and we're sending the data using calculations in the form of JSON, uh, the formatted data, uh, to plot all the different um, fire stations. And then we're using a URL scheme to, to pass data from FileMaker in a FileMaker script over to the um, Apple Maps application.